Good day, everyone. I am Auntie Chrissy. I use this opportunity to welcome you to our online Sunday school. We gather in this fashion as we continue to protect against the spread of COVID-19. Even though we cannot be physically together, we thank God for the gift of technology that we utilize in carrying forward the message of the gospel. Let us continue to practice good hygiene, the wearing of masks, and following the government's guidelines as we look to minimize the spread of the virus. Today, we celebrate the seventh Sunday of Easter, the Sunday after Ascension Day. We are grateful for the opportunity to share with you and pray God's blessing on everyone. I now invite everyone to say together, in whose name we worship, please read what is on the screen. We make the sign of the cross as we read. We worship in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. Let us sing together the words of the Creed. The words are on the screen. reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 1 to 11. 
Our reader today will be Leah Nemard of St. Matthew's Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. Please follow the reading on the screen. A reading from the Word of God written in the Gospel of John 17, 1 to 11. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them and they have received them and known in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We will now view a short movie that will speak to the lesson we just read. Please listen attentively so you can understand the message. After the movie, we will share with you some further thoughts on the lesson. After Jesus' death and resurrection, he appeared to his disciples and many others. The time drew near for Jesus to go back to his Father in heaven. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, Jesus told them. I am with you always, to the end of the age. Then after teaching them one final lesson, the heavens opened up, and Jesus rose up into the sky until they could see him no more. The disciples stood there, just gazing up into the sky. They were sad at first, but two angels came and spoke to them. Don't worry. Jesus will come again someday. The disciples knew what they had to do. Their job was now to spread this good news to all the people around the world. It was the celebration of Pentecost when the Jews remembered the giving of the law to Moses on Mount Sinai. The city was bustling with people and the disciples needed to get away to find a quiet place to pray. Jesus said, The Comforter is the Holy Spirit of God. It would give them boldness. The Holy Spirit would be God's power and presence in their lives. But the disciples didn't understand all of this yet. All they knew to do was pray. We are reminded in the Gospel according to John that we are God's children. We are saved, saved by God's grace through Jesus Christ. Jesus prays to his heavenly Father, acknowledging that his physical work on earth is done, and that through this work, the people of God have known the glory of the Father. In verse 11, Jesus prays for our protection as we continue to be his witnesses on earth. As Christ empowered his disciples at that time, so we are empowered today to preach the gospel. We have been taught through the scriptures 
and inspired by the Holy Spirit to continue the work that Christ has given us to do. It is never easy to be a disciple of Christ. There are many obstacles that we face and must overcome. Even in the context of this pandemic, we are still expected to live the Jesus-shaped life. We ought to demonstrate love, compassion, and kindness as we seek to be God's hands and feet in this world. This pandemic provides us with an opportunity for service towards our brothers and sisters in various ways. We can assist the elderly. We can share information with those who do not readily have access to daily updates. And by adhering to guidelines, we show that we are indeed the people of God. As Jesus did, let us pray that God will continue to be with us and guide us as we take on a difficult world. Christ is no longer physically with us, but he is with us in spirit. May God bless and keep you, remembering that we are called to live a life of love. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Together we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Let us say together the collect for the seventh Sunday of Easter. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. Do not leave us comfortless, but send us your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to that place where our Savior Christ has gone before, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. O oh God, our Father, you have been light to shine out of darkness and have awakened us again to praise your goodness and to seek your grace. Make us children of the light and of the day that our lives have been open to your glory. We may shine as lights in the world through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We continue to pray for our country and all the countries around the world suffering during this pandemic. May God continue to strengthen each leader that they may make decisions as wise as Solomon. Bless each and every individual in this time of need. May they continue to look to you as their source of help. Amen. 
pray together the prayer of dedication. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our memory verse for today is from John 17, verse 11. Please read aloud with me. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one as we are one. Our closing hymn today is Father, we adore you. The words are projected on the screen. be with you and also with you let us bless the lord thanks be to god have a blessed week and we invite you to join us again next week here at online sunday school <music>